Hi guys, I'm Abhinav and I've traveled all the way to Patiala in Punjab to meet my friend Jaydeep and to show you guys his truck. In the last video of the Thar that you know he took delivery of a couple of weeks ago, um, we gave you a little glimpse of this thing. So this is an Isuzu V-Cross yeah. that's not really a stock truck anymore. Jaydeep, well, before I begin this video, um, to know how crazy this man is about you know four wheels, two wheels, everything, his Instagram handle is called Low Ratio Four Wheel Drive. So you just know when Jaydeep gets a truck, it's going to be done up a certain way. Hi Jaydeep, how are Hi, you? Hi Abhinav, I'm good, I'm good. So Jaydeep, um, a lot of people want to know about your truck. Shall we talk about it? Yes, 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 for sure. I, I was actually surprised that uh, reading the comments, there's a lot of people who showed actually a lot of interest in the yeah, truck. Yeah. And, in uh, fact, uh, many showed more interest in the truck than they did than, in the car. Than, than Thar itself, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was actually very surprising. So, I've had this for a while. So, it's been a project long in process. We've been adding stuff on it. I've been planning, ordering stuff. So, it's been a while I've been preparing it. And this is my daily driver. This yeah. is my work truck. So Jaydeep, you run a few oil and field dealerships here in the Patiala region. Right. And uh, if, if I just show these guys this. So guys, you know, Jaydeep carries a lot of stuff and he has to transport a lot of stuff every single day. So this is your daily. This is my, this is my daily drive. You drive it in traffic, you yes. carry all your luggage in it. Everything, everything, everything. everything. That's why it's, it was actually being used for work. It, it needs a wash. I'm sorry, it's not for people. That's okay. We don't care about for people who that. like clean vehicles. I I actually didn't get time. I I was using it yesterday as well. So I do a lot of towing. There's a there's a trailer in the back. We'll cover that as well. And otherwise, there's a lot of functional add-ons that I've yeah, done. Yeah, because I don't see a lot of cosmetic stuff on it. Everything on this truck, what you've told me off camera, is functional. It so it is it is functional, and uh, I've tried planning and. You know, uh, making sure that everything that I'm using is is in conjunction with everything else that's installed and nothing. I, I, I don't like mall crawlers, as they call them. Right. Uh, a fancy looking <laughs> off-road 4x4 vehicle which can't do much. So this has been used extensively for towing, for carrying, for hauling stuff, for camping, for traveling. Wow. And we, I've, I've done a lot of trips and uh, it's never let me down i i'm i'm actually very very happy with how it's been performing it's it's done 70000 kilometers now wow. and i've never had an issue wow i've never so had Jenny, an issue let's start covering all the modifications that you've made to yes. your truck yeah uh, what we'll do is we'll st first start off with all that's there on the exterior that you know most people can see correct so let's start from the very beginning we'll we'll, we'll start from the front so the most noticeable uh, difference that is visible is the the front bull bar or the bumper so this is an australian bumper and you would be surprised this is not an isuzu bumper this bumper was a gift from a very very dear friend uh, his name's alan I've, I've even got his name on the truck wait let me show you so this is a big shout out to Alan. So this bumper, it's pretty expensive. These bumpers are shit expensive. So this was a gift. He's like an elder brother to me. And uh, he gave me this bumper when I had picked the Isuzu. And this bumper is actually a TGM Outback for the LC101. This, the Land Cruiser, Toyota Land Cruiser. So since I got it for free, so I modified it, changed it a little to make sure it fit the Isuzu. And uh, the main change that we actually made was we had to make it a little narrow. The LC is slightly wider than the Isuzu and we made it slightly narrower and the mounting, I was never happy with the mountings that we get with these aftermarket bumpers because the even though they mount directly on the ladder frame, the ladder itself is not that strong. It's just four bolts holding on something that's like 90 kgs heavy and then of course there's a winch sitting inside. So we chopped off almost 11 inches of the chassis from the front and we mounted uh, an inside facing C channel which was secured by 6 12 mm bolts solid and then the bumper got mounted on it so we made like a subframe assembly okay. to take the bumper wow. so now the winch on paper the vehicle actually can hang off that winch the mounting the is so it, it won't chassis. separate it, it's a solid solid mount 
and for those who are concerned about the abs uh, uh, sorry the uh, sensor, the, the sensor. airbag sensor yes. so those have been relocated okay. as per the tjm instructions okay. to uh, right behind and they'll work if need so be the, so the yes will fire up they they will they will work yes yes in case of a head on collision they will work as designed by the company so there is no compromise on the airbag part so uh, tjm is australian right tjm is australian this is this sits at par with the iron man okay. and arb for those who are into off roading stuff right tjm makes really good stuff for a lot of uh, japanese vehicles okay. so they mainly japanese focused okay they'll do a lot of stuff for your toyotas isuzus mitsubishis so the, this is like the, the the highest selling category in australia these are called the utes yeah so the nissan navara uh, the triton by mitsubishi or your hilux the fortuner as we see it in india right. the pickup version hilux or the endeavors ranger these are these are the most uh, purchased vehicles in australia okay so so the number of accessories and add-ons that are available in australia for these vehicles is it's amazing wow. so the range is never ending so even iron man iron man is an australian brand oh i did not know yes that. iron man is australian everything is imported from australia wow yes so, so one more thing jerry before i forget <laughs> a lot of people in the comments are going to ask me how much does every single part cost Okay. So, so the bumper is free. The bumper. the bumper is free. But if somebody <laughs> were to buy this bumper in India, I think these go for uh 1 lakh 30,000, 1 lakh 40,000. Oh my. Almost, God. almost because this comes with an integrated uh, winch plate. Okay. So the winch sits inside the bumper. Right. All you can see is the hook. Yeah. And uh, the, the rope and okay. yeah. Right. So this is I, I'm running a 13,500 pounds one. Okay. Uh I've had this winch one, for a while. One is the brand of the winch. One is the brand. You can focus on this part. So I've upgraded the hook and the shackle is from one itself. Okay. So the hook is rated for uh, 20,000 pounds. Okay. So is the shackle. So this okay. was and this is the Spider series rope. Okay. From uh, one and the fair lead. This was all purchased as an accessory. Okay. So uh, the winch ideally and Suzu can use a 10,000 pound winch as well. Okay. um normally your winch has to be uh, the capacity in pounds has to be twice the weight of your vehicle fully loaded yeah considering fully loaded so this would uh, since the suzu dry is around 2000 kilos okay that's like 4400 pounds yeah so it would have done with 10000 but i already had a 13000 <laughs> pound winch so these are expensive so i transplanted it from my earlier uh, short wheel base pajero to this one okay so uh, that's how the winch came into play and okay. then no 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 yeah. but how much would the winch be okay these are expensive again a metal rope winch imported in india uh, the, this one would be uh, 1 lakh 20000 1 lakh 30000 okay. the rope would be another 18 20000 oh wow and, and the hook the shackle and the hook the hook and shackle should be another 10 12000 easy Okay. One, so one is it's an American brand. Okay. Uh, their biggest supply is actually the U.S. forces, okay. Army and Air Force and Navy. Right. Uh, only like five percent of one's total production is sold to civilians. Okay. Uh, a friend used to import one in India a while back, so I I I knew this information, and these are very expensive. They one is probably the most expensive winch brand. Okay. And they'll make you pay for what they make you can't right. they they hardly go on discounts and they're expensive I but mean, worth if the it's one it's worth it it's worth it yeah if we i've got a bluetooth module and uh, it works with a wired remote or even with a bluetooth wow. remote so even this has never let me down used it multiple times on the previous uh pajero that i took it right. from you've towed out heavier vehicles with that pajero we've towed out thars <laughs> a couple of times <laughs> and the heavier vehicles not really but uh, i do have a snatch block i'll show you once we do the interior sure, sure. so that's a pulley attachment you okay. can use to uh, it halves your uh, speed but doubles your force okay so we can use this winch to pull 26000 pounds wow using uh, wow. Uh, a snatch block 
so basically about 10000 kilos 10000 kilos wow. because once you're stuck you can't factor that into weight right because if you're stuck or if you're on an incline then just the weight you're not pulling on tarmac that the basic weight will count right so that's that's where that extra effort comes in so it's always good to go a little extra when safety is concerned so okay. um, i i prefer being on the safer side all right yeah so um. next we've got uh, so this is a set of helas we i've recently added these so these are uh, comet 450s uh, simple halogen lights very good for the fog we've been uh, as you rode back uh, from delhi you must have seen fog on the way so this fog uh, this this is placed as low as possible and uh, these are running regular halogens for the fog basically i've just recently added them okay and this is a light force blitz 240 okay halogen again okay and very bright um, till a few years ago i think these were the these were sold as the brightest lights in the world i th <laughs> that's what they used to i don't know but uh, they're pretty bright they serve the purpose these are both spotties i've got uh, uh, spread filters as well but i normally run a spot setup okay and then we've got wait wait wait, wait. how yeah. much do these cost oh yes these these would be like 7 7000 i i guess 7 8000 for a pair okay and the wiring and switches are all extra okay and these Uh, there's a lot of different prices these go for okay. but i think these start around 25000 if i'm all not right. wrong all i've right. seen them go for higher prices okay if you go into hids the, the, the price keeps adding up okay but uh, i think these you can you can find a pair for 23 25000 okay. good lights all right and they they um, they are marketed as bulletproof and they show a guy hitting it with a baseball bat oh, it wow. doesn't fall off even though it's all plastic Okay. but it's some patented material they, they don't break if you can see they they're actually sticking out of the bumper in the front yeah slightly yeah. but that's how uh, like they don't break normally so okay i don't know i haven't managed to break them till <laughs> now so <laughs> they're pretty fine so this is the this is the antenna this gets a lot of questions yeah uh, this is the antenna for uh, the cb radio okay for the uninitiated for the for people who have no idea what is a cb radio so cb stands for citizens band okay it's a radio device that you get in your truck or any vehicle everyone else or all other vehicles that you're traveling with this we normally use while traveling where your cell phone signals don't work right this is for communication right and avoids all the unnecessary stops to find people and it's easier sweeping a group if yeah. everybody has a, a cb yes radio. so this is a president Okay. There's a, quite a few brands. Kenwood makes a few. President Cobra. There's there's a lot of brands. Um, uh, my entire group is using President, so uh, I went ahead with President as well. So this is basically uh, everyone has the same radio. You go to the same channel. All you do is do, you just press the mic and speak, and everyone can hear. And then you press and speak back. It's as easy as that. Perfect. Yeah. So this is totally legal. It's okay. limited to uh, a strength of five. I think it's 5 watts if I'm not wrong. Okay. And uh, till 5 watts, these are all 4 watt units. Okay. Till 5 watts, it is completely legal. Uh, the importer gives you uh, a certification and a notification from the government of India attested that it's totally legal to run a CB radio. It gets a lot of questions if running radios are legal or not. Okay. Uh, it is your bandwidth and uh, the the uh, the signal strength of the radio. Mm -hmm. that is generally restricted okay and what kind of range do you get between two cars uh radio? in the open like uh, normally if there's building and construction yeah. not much half a kilometer or more okay. but in the open 1 1.5 in mountains when you're traveling you get amazing range because it's all yeah, there's no construction wide open, so there's wide nothing, open blocking the nothing blocking the signal so It, it's it's a lot of fun to communicate yeah, uh, yeah it's it's a lot and of how fun how many people can connect uh, in one go as many we as many as many i think we've traveled with a group of 18 20 vehicles wow yeah you just have to make sure you're talking to the right person because this <laughs> everybody is on the group and trying to talk uh, but uh, that's and about how it how much does this antenna go for? antenna there's there's a lot of different models uh, this i think is called the alaska Okay. You get magnetic ones. I I like the always installed and it's very flexible, so yeah. it keeps hitting but it doesn't break. Yeah. And uh, the antenna is around four and a half five thousand. Okay. 
Okay. And the unit, uh, the model I'm running is called uh, President Bill. Okay. They're all named after American presidents. Right. There's Tommy and then uh, there's quite a few other guys' names. And this one is the Bill, a very recent compact model. That I think I picked for around eight and a half, nine thousand. Okay. And so the complete set is like twelve, thirteen. All right. Thousand. All right. Uh, both of these. And now You're I. Still not done with the front. You've got more lighting. Oh yeah, the, these are uh, six LED aux beams. Okay. And I use these as uh, daytime running lamps as well. Okay. Even though this lights up as a DRL and a turn signal. Okay. But I use these as well at times. Okay. And. Uh, these are actually pointed out. They're at a very odd angle okay. because these are actually to cover the sides All right. or your white strip on the okay. road. And they're not that high. Okay. So they don't really bother anyone on the road. Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm running a pair in the front, a pair in the back, okay. using those as a reverse assist. Okay. And it's easy to hitch the trailer and all uh, because you need a lot of illumination with the reverse camera right and uh, another add-on is um, um, the low beam mm -hmm. i think it won't be visible that's because that's the high and this is the low okay so the low beam projector i'm running it with the aux beam uh, led uh, replacement okay and the high i've retained as halogen okay. i am a halogen fan i don't really go for a lot of uh, bright whitish blue lights that blind other people uh, but so i've retained the high beam as a simple halogen and just the low has been upgraded so that it doesn't bother anyone and all these lights they're always covered okay. only for the video we've taken them right, off yeah. i do not use them on the road ever they're never used on the road it's only while traveling where they're actually required right i don't go around blinding people with my <laughs> with my lights so i've never had complaints okay so this and then there's a bug deflector. I think it works. It's supposed <laughs> to. So and it looks nice. That's why I got it. And it, it's actually supposed to direct the uh, air stream away from uh, the front windshield. Right. Over the front windshield right. actually. Yeah. And uh, as the name suggests, with the air stream, it sends the bugs away as well. Right. And uh, you don't get all those dead mosquitoes and yeah, flies on, on the, screen, yeah, right. because those are a pain to take off and of course you save lives as well so <laughs> <laughs> so so is this a company is this a uh, they, Zuzu accessory or is this, I, this the, aftermarket as well? uh, initially i had a see through uh, a suzu accessory okay but then that broke and oh. they no longer had it in stock so this is an aftermarket okay and how much uh, would this go for Three thousand, four thousand. All right. That's that's about it. Okay. Three, so four. if we move on to this side, I see that you have a snorkel also. Oh yes. Uh, so this is basically uh, a a safari snorkel replica. Okay. This is I won't try selling it as a genuine safari snorkel because that goes for like thirty thousand. And this is not <laughs> safari Tata Safari. No 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 safari. <laughs> safari is a brand. Uh, it's another subsidiary of this company called ARB that we just mentioned. Mm -hmm. So ARB, when it does suspensions, they call it Old Man MU. Okay. When it does all these air dams and snorkels and all, it's called sold by the name of Safari. Okay. So this is a Safari replica, uh, but again, it is not fiber. It is injection molded ABS plastic. Oh wow! Good quality, very cheap. I bought it from, uh, I think I I picked it from Amin Sons in Gujarat. They do a lot of uh, accessories and add-ons for off-road vehicles. Okay. So this was for like eight, nine thousand. All right. And I'm running a BMC stock filter replacement. Okay. And uh, also, people would mention uh, that this thing is actually supposed to point back, the at duct. least in India. Yeah, the duct, uh, because it gathers too much dust and it keeps settling down. Right. But I'm running uh, something called a mid filter by Uni. It's called a banana filter. Okay. It goes inside. It's like hanging in. Okay. So I can run it. I hate the thing facing back. Okay. It's like somebody turned it. All so right. I I got the mid filter and it's sorted. So the dust settling is all covered. We, we take off this thing once in a while, wash it with petrol, put it back in, and it works. And it's a foam based uh, filter. Okay. So when was the last time? How many kilometers would it have been since with you last the your with the service? I think uh, 
2500 i clean it whenever i get time okay filters it's good to keep your filters clean yeah. i yeah. do not recommend just cleaning them when you service your vehicle okay this was serviced like 2000 kilometers back that was when i changed it last okay i change it after every major clean it after every major trip all right so all right every now and then when i'm i travel a lot hmm. so after every long trip or if we've done some kind of off roading hmm. i i en- end up cleaning all major uh air inlets your filter and checking all the greasing points that's that's something you should be doing okay uh, it's it's a safe practice okay yeah um Now shall we move on to your tires and rims? Yeah, let's go to the other shall side. Let's go to the other side so that we can show them properly. Okay, so um, we have Goodrich. Of course. K O twos. K O twos. These are again uh, exactly the same size as, as the tires th- th- you got in your. Thaw. These are exact two sixty five, seventy five, sixteen, and uh, the running on the method. street lock these are like bead lock look likes so these are just for decoration okay these don't open up the ring doesn't come off like in a bead lock okay so these are just for the look but these are 16 inch method alloy wheels uh method is american right method is american it's a california based brand these are very good forged wheels okay i think probably one of the best that you can buy and uh, i got them in a sale during lockdown i put them on last year Okay. Uh, so Swastik Fabs from Bangalore, Mr. Vijay, he's the importer for these, and uh, I I got a very good deal on a set of four, and these are uh, 16 inch, eight and a half J, and minus 10 offset. So these work perfectly. Uh, they, it's the exact stance that I want. Okay. As you can see, the tire doesn't stick out. It's in in line with the fenders. I, I'm I'm not trying for a monster truck look. It's it's yeah. it's perfectly yeah. in line. so doesn't set wide and then there's another uh, addition that we've done so oh, no, no, no 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 hang on you said yeah. you got a good deal on them you have yeah. to tell us the price so the so the 16 inches they go for around 1.3 for a set of 4 okay i picked them for 90 when they had a 30% uh, all right sale going on all right so yeah that's considering method that's a good deal okay because that's the price range of uh good quality lensos and other brands and these i would rate them above lenso like okay. <laughs> and you've already explained the tires in your previous thar yeah these they go for about i mean the prices are crazy right now but uh 14 and a half 15 14 and a half 15 i i i picked these from a friend of mine he deals in michelin tires back then when tires were easily available i picked these for around 11 and a half wow. he gave me a very good deal on these uh national tires in amritsar okay is a very good friend so i picked these from him jadi do you want to talk about the suspension on your car yeah 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 let's 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 just bring it here i'll show you so uh what i'm running is a complete iron man nitro gas setup but it was actually designed with my use in mind by mr zack from bangalore he's the importer for iron man in india so uh, normal iron mans that you see they'll be running yellow springs these are the max pro or the pro max i don't know sounds like an iphone but these are the pro series springs so these are rated springs they're supposed to take an extra 200 kilos it'll take the weight of the bumper around 85 to 90 kgs and uh, the additional 30 kilos from the winch and these can also take a spare fuel tank for overlanding so this paired with uh, in the rear i'm running uh, another max series nitro gas dampers and the leaf springs and this the red part that you can see this is the upper uh, control arm this is basically to uh, correct the camber that uh, the camber error that you get so when you run tall tires uh, the dampers they push your arms out and it in and it misaligns the tires from the top so the camber sticks out okay so what what uh, the upper control arm does is if you can bring it a little in and you can focus on this part mm-hmm. so this is the upper ball okay that holds the tire upright mm-hmm. this sits in a sliding uh, slot so all the camber correction can be done from here okay 
and the regular uh, control arm, the upper control arm is just pressed metal, sheet metal. Okay. This is solid uh, chromoly tube. Okay. Uh, some uh, Indonesian or Thailand brand, I, I forgot the name, I can't recall, mm -hmm. but uh, gets heavier bushes and uh, the ball gets a lubrication nipple, so you can grease it every now and then. Okay. And uh, and your camber correction is it's very easy because otherwise you end up killing the stock uh, control arms camber correction points. Okay. So this makes the job very easy and it's very safe off road. Okay. So even if you go off roading, you you don't get camber errors every now and then. Okay. Yeah. So Jerry, you were mentioning earlier to me off camera that you know this car is lifted. Yes. That has been achieved by the suspension and something else as well. You want to elaborate? Yes. On that? So the, there's two kind of lifts whenever you want to raise the ride height. So 50 mm okay. is what uh, almost two inches is from the Iron Man suspension itself. So we're running a suspension lift, and then there's something called a block lift. So if you can come here and focus on this part. So this is a Delrin nylon spacer so we've inserted spacers at all body mounts between the ladder frame that is this part and the shell which is this part so the shell sits higher so that gives us clearance in the wheel arches as well okay so this is very important because this clearance you need to accommodate the articulation that you'll be getting off road because these dampers are longer than normal okay. they give you more travel mm -hmm. so if this clearance is not there, some people they actually don't like, they, they like the flush fit right. feel, but I practically looking at it, you need this space to accommodate for articulation yeah. because otherwise you'll end up breaking your fenders, the fender liners. So this is like a practical mod that okay. that is required. So I did a two inch plus almost a quarter to two inch lift, okay. uh, around 40 mm, okay. 40, 45 mm those spaces. Mm -hmm. So we're running uh, three and a half quarter to four inches of lift. Okay. And I'll just take a quick look at the stance. Yeah. So guys, this <coughs> is a near four inch lifted Isuzu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we can. Shall we move to the rear? Yeah. Oh, wait, you were telling me something about the blind spot mirrors. Uh, yeah. The, so b since it's a lifted truck and it's a long vehicle, so if you can see these little uh, wide mirrors on the bottom, so what these do is they are focused only on the rear tire. Okay. So when I'm towing a trailer, my trailer is narrower than the truck. Mm -hmm. So all I need to focus on is the rear tires. My trailer will follow this track. Okay. So I, 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 I can easily check for clearance from these because since when you lift a vehicle, your distance from ground increases, yeah. so your stock mirrors can't cover the entire thing. Right. So when I when I look in the mirror, I, I only can see till here. Okay. If I go too low, I'll miss out uh, most of the road in the back. Okay. And so if I keep it settled where it should, I miss out the bottom part. Okay. So I've added those to see the rear properly. Okay. And uh, then there's another AliExpress edition that I had. You can see there's, there's a small sticker thing on on, yeah. on the rear view. So we get a lot of, uh, what do you call that thing in the morning? Not fog, dew. Yeah. The, the condensation that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it covers your uh, glass area. So that sticker doesn't let it stay. Okay. So the sticker part is always clean. Otherwise, I can't uh, use my rear view mirrors when right. I reverse out in the morning. So kind of like the same principle as a pin lock visor. It yes. wouldn't let it fog up or you know mist to settle yes. on it. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Almost, almost serves the same purpose. Right. Serves the same purpose. And now coming to the back, uh, this rear bumper was fabricated in Amritsar. Okay. We've got a proper channel frame mm -hmm. underneath. And we've got uh, a towing hook. That's a Thule or a Thuel. I have no idea how to pronounce it. But uh, these hooks are sold in the UK and manufactured by a friend in Mohali. So the hook was a gift. And it takes eight tons on the ball. Okay. And 10 on the pin. Wow. I use the pin and it's a very, very good quality hook. Uh, these two are the safety hoops for the trailer attachment right and 
again you can see um, these leds are paired with my reverse okay uh, when i when you engage the reverse gear there lights up okay and otherwise the bumper is solid sheet metal 10 gauge sheet metal it's pretty heavy yeah metal. 10 okay. gauge it's pretty heavy and then there's a c channel subframe okay heavy subframe we've cut up the uh, so uh, yeah another thing if you see normal suzu bumpers yeah they go very low mm -hmm. they go very low because uh, what happens is there's there's a straight sheet panel right under your lid okay and uh, the company hoops they go under it mm -hmm. so now what i've done is i've cut up that po that portion and we've uh, mounted the channel it's been bolted directly onto the main ladder frame okay so if you can go there and see the departure angle is beautiful oh yeah your stock bumper will sit somewhere here okay and we will eliminated all of that and we've brought the rear bumper to the height of the the ladder frame okay and uh, even in the front i'll show you something which this a lot of suzu owners would understand if you can go there and focus on this part mm -hmm. since we chopped up the frame yeah all the members that sit there are members that sit here yeah everything has been removed okay and extra strengthening has been given on top okay and now you can see the approach angle is clean and it hits the slide plate directly okay so my approach is really really good mm -hmm. so is the departure so okay. that gives you more confidence off road or for traveling and right. uh, these slide plates covered till my transfer case okay it's covering my transmission these are made by metal house which is a blue garage dot com brand okay these are pretty solid i've had them for a while i think they've been used and bashed quite a lot made in india yeah these are made in india uh, so, and they are made out of what uh, uh, these are mild steel? steel yeah these are powder coated mild steel okay good quality so what they did was uh, similar plates from tgm are around 90000 so these are exact tgm replicas okay just done in india and they sell for 1/6th the price okay so i went for these because it's something that just has to be there right so i'm i'm you we missed the price of your rear bumper the rear bumper i i can't really put a price on it because uh the the fabricator is a is a very very good friend you can say a friend it's uh, is a, there's a place called uh, the golbag truck market in amritsar okay. and the guy is a very gifted aged sheet metal worker okay and uh, khalsa metal works okay so he does all these bumpers he's he's done and he's replicated n number of bumpers for us for the thar for isuzu fortuners pajeros all the vehicles okay. so I we did we got quite a lot of other stuff done with the bumper I think it would have costed me around 12 10 12 thousand not not much all right not much and it's done to the desired spec I can take my drawings and he can do it for me okay yeah so he understands my requirement okay and uh, very good welder all right I I'm someone who's very particular about the quality of welding so he's a very good welder and uh, never had an issue with any of his fabrications okay yeah. by the way we also missed the price of the suspension so the suspension <laughs> i picked it i think uh, uh so i get a kind of a special price from zack but i think this goes for around 1.3 for the entire set okay 1.35 or something all right uh we actually ordered some stuff for a friends fortuner together so i'm not sure how much this one was exactly because in the region of 1.3 1.3 something because this is a mix and match of two three sets right. i wanted something which suited my requirement and so zack was kind enough to give me a different set of dampers for the front a different for the rear mm -hmm. and a different set of springs for the front okay so it's like three sets in one all right designed for what i required so i was very clear about what i needed and he did the needful okay so yeah So other than that anything else oh wait rock sliders oh yes yes so these rock sliders again yeah these were done with the rear bumper as well okay so this is from a 2 inch tube and very solid mounted directly on the on the chassis okay. so rock sliders or frame slider not frame sliders i would say chassis sliders if you can come this side i'll show you something 
so the purpose of a rock slider is to serve as a point uh, as a pivot point okay. when your vehicle's center part bottoms out yeah. so this pipe mm -hmm. has to be the lowest part on the truck right this is the lowest part if you can see my transfer case my shafts my yeah. frame everything is safe and inside it right so this is the first part of my truck to touch the ground okay when uh, we're going off roading or when the middle bottoms out right so so that this can bear the weight okay. and none of my drive train or my running components are you know stressed under stress or they okay. don't uh, get damaged when we are off road okay. and even if you look at the line they sit inside my rear view mirrors okay the width if you can come here and uh, the width is inside and right, the, right, these right. are almost in line with my fenders okay so i know where the side sits okay so it's easier because it's a big vehicle it's a very long vehicle and especially when you're towing it, it reaches almost crosses i think 30 feet wow so it's like a mini train feel so you have to know where everything sits right so i can see the corner of my bumpers i can see the rear edges right and i have to know where my side sets okay so so that it's easier for judgment okay yeah so these were done with the rear bumper okay. and the the checkered aluminum plate was added later on all right yeah yeah and uh, you have a bed liner as well yeah i've got uh, uh, an underlip it's called an underlip bed liner i'll show you so i've got an underlip bed liner which has been used a lot and i've even got a carry boy canopy cover Okay. So uh, it's a waterproof cover. You can see it rolled up there. Yeah. So when I'm not uh, loading anything in the back, okay, I use it to cover. It's good, waterproof. Never had an issue. Seals from the side. There's two supports in the middle. It doesn't sag. Okay. And uh, I didn't want the fiber ABS plastic mm -hmm. covers. A lot of people get. It doesn't suit my requirement okay. because it limits your vertical loading space. Yeah. Yeah. I I sometimes I don't use the trailer I load a bike in the back. Yeah. So when there's a bike in yeah, the back the Harley fat boy. Yes the the Delhi. fat boy we picked from Delhi. So this is as good as not having anything it gets rolled in a yeah. corner. Yeah. Even uh, there's a lot of sliding shutters that you can get yeah. but that takes up around 1 foot of space. Okay. So when you load a motorcycle every every inch every corner matters because you have to adjust and then close the tailgate as well yeah. so i wanted and it's a very cheap option con comparing to the, the i think they call it the d boxes yes they yeah. call them the d boxes they go for around a lakh and a half as wow. well the thai imports they, they sell the very expensive carry boy makes them around 1.3 1.5 wow. this was like 25000 and waterproof not bad, not bad. a lot of people in my group are using it people okay. have had it for 3 to 4 years mm -hmm. no issues at all it's work fine by the way you want to mention your group because uh, uh, i think we've done that so far yeah the the group is extreme off roaders and as we recording the video today is the 11th anniversary we having a get together this sunday so i think abhinav is going to be covering that as well <laughs> so we've got a lot of isuzus in the group okay. and uh, we're not into off roading we are mainly a traveling camping group okay we travel with family a lot and uh, mainly overlanding and camping all right yeah so it's been 11 years it's 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 been a while the group has been in ex in existence yeah. and yeah we're now inside jadeep's truck where he's going to give us a brief overview of you know what all he has inside what all changes are there mm. so jadeep floors all yours uh So first uh first thing you can notice this is the CB radio it's been mounted there okay. and the mic hangs off a magnet phone mount okay. just a normal magnet phone mount this is my dash cam okay in case i run into someone i should have proof so <laughs> and this is something uh, very interesting it's not been connected to power right now i only use it on the highways so this is a six band uh, cobra brand scanner so in case there's a speed radar coming up so this will flash a warning around the kilometer and a half in advance uh covers all different bands the car mounted the handheld the tripod mounted 
so they all run on different bands so it informs these are very popular abroad and uh, it works has been used on the canal highway and <laughs> has won successfully and other stuff that i've got inside i think in my glove compartment i've got uh, my winching gloves these are winching gloves uh, the winch remote just basic stuff and i've got my i've got my leatherman tool okay and this i generally keep under the rear seat okay this is the snatch block i was talking about yeah. this is used in case of winching this the one that i was mentioning that doubles your power and halves the speed yeah this is the snatch block it sits under the rear seat uh, the suzu has really smart compartments in the back okay. you pop up the seat and there's a storage space oh, under wow, both the seat oh that's nifty yeah yeah it, i i put it to use a lot and other than that i've uh, yeah all four doors have been damped okay uh, i'm running a russian uh, dr artex 2.8 mm damping okay two layers normal the way everyone does it and it's the damping and uh, i've upgraded the audio yes i travel a lot so i always wanted good audio okay mm, no subwoofers or anything but really nice uh, uh, coaxials in the back okay and in the front i'm running uh, 6x9 jl audios so i think isuzu is the first vehicle i've seen to run an oval 6x9 in the front door okay normally it's a 5 to 6 and a half inch yeah. round speaker mm -hmm. so this one runs 6x9 so i've got a nice jl audio 6x9 in the front and uh, coaxials in the back Okay. And I'm running uh, a Helix, good German brand. I'm running a four-channel amp. Okay. And the head unit stays stock. Stock. This okay. is the stock head unit. Okay. And that's about it, I think. Other than that, uh, we're running. Uh, I mentioned the BMC air filter. Yeah. And I'm running a Dieseltronic uh, dual-channel uh, chip. Okay. And I. Let's pop the hood and show it to them if it's possible. Uh, Yeah, we can. That's the remote. That's the so, remote. For it, it. So it, it runs a Bluetooth uh, remote. Okay. And uh, it's tucked away, actually. Oh, all right. The unit, the the so there's nothing so really to show with the. So this unit. Uh, mm -hmm. What are the stock specifications of this truck? I don't even recall. Like I it's think it's 130 bhp. I, something like that. Oh, wow. It's 130, 135ish. Yeah. And uh, what I can say is it 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 drives very well <laughs> with <Now>. the unit. <laughs> yeah, it drives very well with the unit, and I. think it upgrades the talk output to around 450 ish okay yeah. stock is what 350 ish something around that 350 370 okay. i actually don't remember yeah, neither do i uh, i i don't remember and then just the regular mats and stuff nothing really fancy in here and and you've got oh. a lot of uh, badges here as oh well. yeah i i i collect these patches these are my motorcycle groups and i have collected these from all over uh, a few from abroad i've picked a few from my friends i tell people to bring these for me when whenever they travel if okay. there's, there's any patch or badge that i can use so the so velcro it just sticks so these yeah. are all removable it doesn't damage the right. roof liner right and I, i i like how it looks so nice i nice. like it's like a little collection in the in the truck itself Other than that, for the interior, I think that's about it. Nothing. Yeah, it's you know? more about whatever's functional here. Nothing yes. flashy, nothing jazzy. <laughs> Covers were changed. I'm waiting for another pair of uh, camouflage browning covers. Okay. They'll come in sometime next next month. Okay. So they will go over these covers. They don't get dirty. Yeah. So in my line of work, I end up getting dirty. Like right. Your yeah. hands are dirty and all the time. So they're like dark camouflage. Easy. Oh, and I've I've tucked in an umbrella in the back. It fits really nice. Nice. Yeah, that's about it. You have a lot of stickers on your car. Yeah. We're done talking about <laughs> the external modifications. Yeah. The so I as a child I had always, you know, if you dream of a vehicle you wanted to own, it was always a pickup truck with a lot of stickers. I don't think any other vehicle I own has stickers on it. it is just the truck i always wanted stickers and these are all stickers from stuff that i've bought okay uh supplied by companies some for motorcycle some for the truck other cars motorcycle parts cycle parts so i i like to have them on uh, the truck i i i think it just, just quickly show them 
yeah this is the iron man then there's a lot from places i've traveled to this is mammoth lake in california this is a camping supply store and cycle gear then a few of my friends companies dusty trail uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff on like yeah and we see that you're a valley fan <laughs> of course so <laughs> wasn't right <laughs> so yeah the stickers had to be there yeah you've got some at the front as well yeah there's quite a few in the front this is with the rims that's the group yeah the um, the cycle suspension yeah manager i have I'll, it on my cycle as well and there's isle of man yeah uh, quite a mix a couple in the front i think we've got the cb radio somewhere that's with the bumper yeah. that's the cb radio brand yeah and, and then some on this side as well i think there'll be there'll be just one yeah this is the crisis code that gives your emergency contact details and all pretty right. smart i've, I've got yeah, it on makes uh, sense yeah i've got a lot of stickers on the truck hold on Uh, the texas edition bag. yeah this was given by a friend i think you mentioned texas in one of the videos yeah and uh, a car accessory store friend is like oh, I've, i've got this for you oh, so no, insisted no. i put it on so i couldn't nice. say no looks nice yeah and it's, it's nice it's a metal badge and these are some of the places that you've traveled uh, yeah such pass umingla le uh, these are one of our uh, motorcycle clients in and out it's a burger place yeah uh, this is again one of our friends and client they run a chopper service in the himalayas so just basic stuff and then ariton of course ariton sena's yeah. helmet so yeah there's a mix of and i just like the stickers on my truck some people think it's too loud but i i like it so not an issue 